how do you apply a pattern to a garment? Now this is going to be the simplest way possible because there's lots of different ways to make patterns, create them and apply them. This is just one very easy way. So here we have our garment and in the next window we have a pattern. So this has been pre-made and you'll find this on the DMFR folder of the University of Manchester in the CAD Fashion Resources. So what we do is we're here, we open the swatches window. So windows, and swatches. Currently, we've got not much there, so I'm gonna say um, we want to open up a swatch library. So, go to other libraries and go to desktop, got my garments folder where everything's in, and pattern one EPS, and click open. Now what you'll see here is we've got a pattern at the top and some colors. I want the whole thing, so I'm just gonna click that and drag it in and click this and drag that in. Now at the moment this is set up not to show um, color schemes, so just don't worry about that too much, but we have, um, there we are, <laughs> that's showing everything. So we've got our colors and we've got our pattern. So how do we use this? i close this down. So just like with um, anything else, drag a selection tool, select the parts we want to have the supply to, and just click here on the pattern. Now, you might think this look, looks really good, and you know what, I might keep it like this. But for the case of this um, tutorial, I want to change it because the scale is very different as that's the entire pattern, and we're only showing this much. So, with this piece still selected, go to Object, Transform, and we're going to choose Scale. Now, scaling is where you just make objects larger and smaller. There's two options to be aware of here. Firstly, transform object. If we do that, and the entire piece that we've applied color to gets larger or smaller, I'll show you what that looks like. And that's not what we want in any way. What we want is just the pattern. So we'll see here, there's another uh, box. So we click transform patterns and unclick transform objects. That way, you see that the actual pattern is scaling. So I'm gonna go for 25% and I think that's gonna look good for what we're doing here today. So click OK. Another thing is I'm not overly happy with um, the angle of this. I want this to be at 45 degrees. So object, transform, and rotate. Just like before, we got transform object, transform patterns. It's remembered, we played with the pattern last time, so it's like chosen that for us. And I'm gonna choose an angle of 45 degrees. So clicking on preview, you'll see it's gone round. So click OK. Now, the next thing I want to do is reposition this. I want to move it around. So once again, object, transform, move. So I'm going to go for the pattern, and I'm going to go for, let's say, three centimeters horizontally. You see, that's just moved down by three centimeters. Let's put it three centimeters vertically as well. So click three, and you can see how it's, everything's just moved, and click Okay, so for the purpose of what I'm doing, that's fine. Now, as well as having a pattern, you'll remember we had some colors and they're in our swatches too. So I'm gonna go forward and add them. Click on this top section and let's have uh, a very dark um, top. And this bottom section will be the inside jumper. I want that to be light, so I'm gonna choose the light option. So there we have it. We've taken the pattern, opened it in the swatches menu, applied the pieces to our garments, and then done some base transformation to the pieces.